Creating a Square of Square Mesh Netting Before starting the actual netting, fill a netting needle or shuttle with thread or cord. To attach it to a foundation loop, tie a slip knot in the thread or cord coming from the needle or shuttle. Leave a long tail, at least 6 to 8 inches. Slip the foundation loop cord through the slip knot. Tie the foundation loop cord into a circle, thereby creating a foundation loop. Tighten the slip knot. Attach the foundation loop to a tension device. Choose a mesh stick. I'll use a half inch flat one. To start the square, net two knots into the foundation loop. I'll be tying the netting knot using the lace maker's method. When this is done, you will see there are two loops on the mesh stick and three knots. Remove the mesh stick. Turn the work so that the next row can be worked from left to right. This will be done at the end of each row. Net into the first loop on the left. This loop is the loop you just finished making. Increase by netting twice into the second loop. There are now three loops on the mesh stick and three knots. For the next few rows, net one knot in each loop except the last loop. Net two knots in that last loop. Each row will have one more loop than the previous row. When the number of rows worked is the same as the number of squares desired, or there is one more loop on the mesh stick than squares desired, it is almost time to turn the corner. Our sample will be 5 squares by 5 squares. To get the sample that size, we need to work 5 rows or have 6 loops on the mesh stick. In the next row, net one knot in each loop across the row. You will not be increasing in this row. Now it is time to turn the corner. Net one knot in each loop until you come to the last two loops.
Net the last two loops together. In the example, there are now five loops on the mesh stick. When the netting is spread out, it is possible to see that there are five squares along the top, and a corner has been formed on the upper right end of the first row. On the next row, turn another corner by following the same decrease instructions. Net one knot in each loop until you come to the last two loops. Net the last two loops together. This time, when the netting is spread out, it is possible to see that there are five spaces along the top and left side of the netting. There is a definite corner on the top right and bottom left of the netting. Repeat these instructions until only two loops remain. Finish the final row by netting these two loops together without using a mesh stick. Cut the thread near the knot just tied. Remove the beginning of the netting from the foundation loop. Tie the tail onto a tapestry needle, which is used in place of the netting needle. Put the foundation loop cord through the last loop formed. Tie the ends together to form the foundation loop and attach it to a tension device. Net the first two loops together without using a mesh stick. As you can see, I could have saved myself some trouble if I had made the tail of the slip knot longer when I tied the slip knot. Untie the foundation loop. Remove it from the netting and cut the thread near the knot just tied. Your square of square mesh netting is now finished.